Today on the table, I've got a MacBook Pro A1278, which is an extremely common model. And as you can see on the bottom here, it is missing a couple of screws, which is also extremely common for this model. But anyway, this one's been brought in here for a simple problem, which is that it has a cracked glass on the front of it. So what I'm going to be using to take this apart will be a fin pry tool, a heat gun, or a bit of heat station that I'll be using on this one, and also another pry tool. So during this repair I had the heat gun set to around about 300 degrees Celsius, which was a bit overkill, especially considering some of the plastic did melt in a couple of locations so that did have to be trimmed up and cleaned up so you could probably get away with anywhere between probably 100 degrees Celsius to probably 150 degrees any more than that should not really be necessary probably at the absolute limit I would use about 200 so I'm going to speed up some of the footage and then I will describe how I'm actually going to remove or remove the glass on the right hand side of the display. So with the screen mostly intact I'm able to use this pressure by pulling it towards me while heating up the panel itself. Granted this doesn't work all the time So where I'm working with it now, it's starting to develop a crack. So it is becoming more difficult to use just the pressure of the panel, pulling it out to lift the whole thing out. So we'll be switching just a small little black pry tool. And I'll grab in just one second. This one here. So I should just be able to slide that down from the top. Try and keep the tool itself pushing towards the front of the glass, not digging downwards. If you do dig downwards, you are at risk of damaging either the Wi-Fi, or no, sorry, the Wi-Fi cables, the antennas, potentially damaging the front facing camera and also the various sensors that are there on that are connected via the same cable. But mostly it does it just requires a lot of heat. As you can see, bingo, one panel removed. One thing to do be aware of is dust. Dust is always fun and games on these. Uh, but to begin with, I'm going to clear up the remaining glass with just a pair of tweezers. And then I'll go over it with a flat screwdriver just to push the remaining small bits of glass that may cause, or may cause the replacement panel to shatter when you're reinstalling it. But from here, it's about not quite halfway. Typically, you just want to inspect all around where the adhesive is to make sure there's no glass fragments. And then from there, I would give it a clean with a microfiber cloth, which I'll do later on in the video. And then after that, you'll be installing the new panel. One thing that I don't like about the new panels is they are, it's almost like the panels themselves are vacuum sealed so you've got to peel off plastic off the back as soon as you peel that off it becomes staticky and you essentially got to clean both sides of the screen to remove all dust before you put it down so it turns into a not very fun job near the end no matter how hard you try but it should be something you should be able to achieve and get to a satisfactory level so from here I'm just going to let the video play it in real time and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.